In this segment, we are going to investigate the free body diagrams and Hooke's Law. In our first series of diagrams, we'll look at elongation. So here we have the spring. There is, has been a force uh, applied to it, and there has been a displacement. We notice there's this little bit of displacement, and there's a force involved. And the forces, the red force is the force applied. The blue force is the force of the spring, or it is sometimes called the restoring force. It is the force that wants to pull the spring, pull or push the spring back into position. And if we draw a free body diagram like so, we will see this force applied and this force restore are equal and opposite. Now, how we know they're equal and opposite is that this force that's been applied to it is holding the spring in place. From Newton's second law, we know the net force is the sum of the forces. The net force is MA, and the two forces we have are the force applied and the force of the spring. Now, the acceleration is zero. So therefore, the sum of the forces is zero. So subtracting the force applied from both sides, we see that the force applied is equal and opposite to the force of the spring. The force of the spring is equal and opposite to the force applied. Now when we look at this case, uh, out of the second case here, well, we look at our, what we would draw as a free body diagram and we can see that the force applied is much larger. And we can see the restoring force is much larger. But again, we see when we add up the forces using Newton's second law, we can see the acceleration is again zero. So we see the force applied is equal and opposite to the force of the spring. So no matter how large the force is applied, the force of the spring will be equal and opposite to it. Now, when we do compression, we can see the same thing. Here, now, we have the force applied, which is going in the other direction. And we have the restoring force of the spring in the other opposite direction. And we can see here where there's an even larger force. We apply a much larger force. The restoring force is larger and again they match because at any instant in time the spring is not accelerating we're holding it in place and so this is how we'd apply the concept of free body diagrams to Hooke's law